hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to make amv with no video app just exactly like in after effects and if you gain value out of this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this so without any further ado let's dive in <laughs> Alright, first thing you need to do is to download and install no video properly on your smartphone. I make a bunch of tutorials explaining how you can download and install no video properly on your smartphone. So go check that out. So after download and install it properly, all you have to do is to create a new project by clicking the plus icon right here. This will take you to no video editing room right here. So now we've created a project, so it's time for us to rename the project by clicking the home button right here and tap on this untitled right here to rename your project and hit OK. Then click on it again and this will bring you right here as you can see now you have renamed your project to be AMV edit. So now what we need to do is to choose the song that you want to use for this AMV editing and import it into no video editing app. There are two options for importing audio into no video editing app. By clicking the plus icon and go to media, right here as you can see there are two options right here that will allow you to import audio into no video editing app. Is that you bring it right straight away, that is from your gallery you're gonna be importing the audio already or you can extract it from what from existing video so whichever option that fits you but for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna be going with load from five because i have already choose the audio that i wanted to use all right after importing the audio you can click on there to see the audio uh timeline as you can see right here so let's play this audio and let's see what we have for the sake of this tutorial we're gonna be using this song and if you also like this song and you want to use it for your own project also i put a link in the video description where you can download that so now we need some footage to edit with for those that doesn't know what footage is footage are video clips that you can edit with so for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna be using this 3 amv clip Alright, as you guys can see, I've imported the video clip right here in my timeline. As you can see, we have this three clip right here. One, two, three. So now let's keep all these video clips somewhere around here for now. Alright. So now we need to set a marker on the beat to know when the clip starts and end on the beat. So to do that, you want to tap on the song which we imported right here. And you want to go to audio. And you want to see these tools right here. And you want to see this menu at the left side of your editing panel right here. There are two ways of adding marker. You can either do it manually right here by just clicking right here and add each marker on the beat. But this method might be time consuming and sometimes might not be accurate. So that is why you need to use the auto detect beats that Node Video actually provided. So now let's do that. So let me remove the marker I've already clicked right here. Alright, it's very simple. All you have to do is just to come down right here at this spot and click on Beat Detect. This option that is blue right here. Click on it. It will automatically generate the marker onto the what? Onto the heat of the beat. So let's play this and see what we have on the marking spot. Alright, as you can see, this has automatic generates the marking to the word to the kick and each of the beat. Right here, as you can see. Mm, baby, I don't understand. So this is how you can create it. It's on automatic. So now it's time to edit the video clip to sync to the kick we have already marked on the beat. So click on the first clip and arrange it right here. Don't worry. We're gonna sort that out. We're gonna arrange them properly. So after you've already arranged them properly from video one, video two, video three, right here. So now let's edit the cut to the beat. So we go to the first cut right here. As you can see, the right but the first clip is not up to the cut right here. So now in this scenario where the video is not matched with the cut of the beat, all you have to do is to play around with the speed duration of the clip. So to do that, you wanna come down to this spot right here. To this setting right here the stretch and you want to stretch it up to the length that you see that it actually meets the uh the marking part for the beat right here as you can see you can actually click on it and set it let me set this to around 70 or 1.17 and hit on ok so now as you can see it's now on the heat which is the so you can now drag this one uh the second clip right here also 
make sure this uh your magnet is enabled this snapping uh tools right here make sure it's what is enabled so you can able to snap to what to the cut right here so this is what you should have as you can see this is actually matched to the cut right there so we want to do the same thing for the second clip so as you can see this is another hit on the beat that we've already set a marker on but as you can see this clip right here is not sitting down on the marking spot so all you have to do in this scenario is just exact same thing we did in the previous clip so all you have to do now is to speed up this clip to match to the heat of the song by going down to the speed duration also i set this right here to uh 90 you can check which one actually fits yours all right as you can see this is already as you can see this is already on the on the match cut right here so you can actually adjust this one right here so now let's play this and see what we have so as you can see this is how you can edit your video clips to sync to the music beat just exactly like in after effects so as you can see when we play this video back this video is kind of boring so what we want to do now is to add some simple transition to make it look clean and more professional and enjoyable so in this tutorial we're going to be creating this easy to create transition hope you understand that bitch i'm the man and if you are lazy like me in editing, you can actually download the Node Video Essential Preset Pack that has this transition. You can simply drag and drop them onto your clip. So let me show you how I create this manually. So click on the first clip right here and move your timeline to the very cut right here. Or you can use these tools right here to move to the cut right there. So what you want to do now is to count three frame backward to your left side. One, two, three. Right at that spot, you can zoom it up so you can see what you are actually doing. Right from here, you want to open up the scale parameter at the effect control panel right here. So you want to hide keyframe right there. Then you want to move your timeline to the very cut back right here at this spot. Then you want to hide another keyframe right there and bump the scale to 2.0. All right, so this is what we just created. As you can see, it's gonna zoom right to this second clip right there. As you can see, so next thing you have to do is to make sure you always turn off the motion blur right here by toggling all it up and make sure you are it's set to 3.0, which is about 300. For those if you are using After Effects, that is 300. In no video editing, is 3.0, so you get that. So now you can have this nice sharp shutter angle, as you can see. As you can see the motion blow right here to the next clip so you can close this up right now so moving to the next clip right here on this next clip what we want to do here is the reverse of what we just did so move your timeline to the very cut right here make sure you are on the cut right here make sure you are on the cut as you can see make sure you are on the cut so now what we want to do now is to count to frame backward one two right here as you can see and you want to zoom it so you can see it properly so what you want to do now is to open up the scale parameter and hide the keyframe right there then you want to move your timeline to the very cut back right here as you can see at the very cut right there so what you have to do now is to bump the scale to 200 so which is the reverse of the first effect we made on the first clip so make sure you toggle up the uh, motion blur for the effect and make sure you, the amount is set to 300 which is 3.0 in node video remember that so now as you can see we've created this awesome transition as you can see as you can see so we create this awesome fast zoom in as you can see it right there this is an amazing so now we can close all this up right here and moving on to the uh to the clip which is the second clip right here let's bring it back to closer so what we want to do now is to move to the uh to the end of the second clip right here make sure you are on the last cut of the second clip right here hope you can see so all you have to do make sure you are on the last cut of the clip right there so all you have to do is to count four frame backward one two three four right there you want to add keyframe for your scale parameter as you can see then you want to move your timeline to the very cut right here to the very cut make sure you are precise on the cut right there then add another keyframe right there and make sure you bump it to 2.0 which is 200 for after effects good 
so as you can see we have created this uh awesome effect right here which is gonna be a zoom same way we've created for the second clip so make sure you are on the uh exact cut right here you want to count three frame backward one two three at this spot right here make sure you, you can zoom in so you can see it properly which is one frame from the last keyframe then you want to open up the rotation parameter right here and set your keyframe right there so what you have to do now is to move back to the very cut right here so add another keyframe right there and make sure you set this to uh to rotate 180 degree and hit on ok as you can see the clip is gonna rotate 180 as you can see so make sure you are uh, you on the what the motion blur make sure it's on so as you can see this is gonna rotate uh in uh in 180 degree to the second clip right here so what you have to do now is to align the two key frame right here to easy ease them so if you doesn't know how to use the curve editor in no video editing app i've actually made a tutorial about this explaining entire everything so you can understand how it works so i'm gonna be coming down right here and align this key frame which i have created right here and i'm gonna be clicking on this uh, right here follow my graph right here as you can see so this will create this awesome dynamic uh rotation right here as you can see it's gonna rotate dynamic as you guys can see it right here let me zoom this so you can see properly as you can see it's gonna create that dynamic rotation so let's move to the last clip right here and set another transition for this clip right here so make sure you set your uh, timeline to the very last part of the clip you can three frame backward to your right hand one two three i want to add the escape parameter for this add a keyframe right there and you want to bring your timeline to the very cut back right here make sure you are on the exact cut right here and you want to set another keyframe right there and you want to bump this scale to uh 200 the way we did for previous clip right here as you can see this is gonna zoom as you can see it's gonna zoom so now what we want to do now is to create uh, the rotation for this clip it's exact same way we did in the previous clip so all you have to do now is to toggle up the rotation parameter and right on the last keyframe which we actually mark for the scale parameter you want to toggle up the rotation parameter for the rotation right there and you want to bump this to uh 360 degree so it rotates once then you want to count three frame back to the cut one two three which is exactly on that same uh keyframe on the scale so you want to add another keyframe right there and you want to bump this back to 180 which is exact reverse of the previous edit so right now let's play this and see what we have as you can see as you can see there's a problem right here we have these black edges at when this last clip actually rotates we have a black edges that is not filling the frame so we want to correct that so all you have to do is to click on more right here or go off this motion tie this will fill the uh the edges that is filled with the black spot as you can see this will fill that up so now let's play this and see what we have awesome so as you can see this has already filled the uh black edges and we have this nice smooth transition so now what we want to do now is to go to the rotation parameter right here you can zoom it up so you can actually see it properly as you can see i like this two keyframe right here and go to your curve edit so what you want to do now is to ease in this uh this one right here as you can see you can follow my graph or if you don't understand you can actually watch my video i've explained that so now let's see what we have as you can see this is very fast to rotation in awesome so now what we want to do now after we've set up this right now let me zoom in so you can see everything properly all right so now as you can see we've created this awesome uh amv transition and don't forget to on the motion blur for the effect so you can so you can get so you can have that dynamic uh rotation as you can see right now as you can see it's gonna rotate very fast awesome so in most cases where you can have issue is that when you zoom it up properly right here and you can see that the keyframe is not sitting on the cut all you have to do right here is just to bring this your timeline right here make sure you are on exact the cut and you want to click on the keyframe and just drag them to the cut right there you can do the same thing for uh the one above it also so you can have this nice without any glitch as you can see it's gonna make the effect more cleaner as you can see as you can see it's gonna make this effect more cleaner 
awesome so let's play all these effects all together and let's see what we have created so far and if you gain value out of this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this because i'm gonna be bringing more awesome tutorial on how you can use node video professional just like an after effect so let's take a look of the final edit sorry i think there's a mistake somewhere the beat is not on the it so let's see what the problem is oh all right so as you can see the beat has already shifted maybe i i mistakenly shifted it when i was editing so all you have to do just drag it back so it can match with the cut so let's play it again and let's see Alright, that's awesome as you guys can see right now. So let me show you how you can export this so you can have the best of your edit. So you can able to share your work on Instagram, on YouTube and or wherever where you want to share it. So all you have to do is to come back to your uh, export right here. So now as you can see we have this option right here. So make sure you set it as high resolution as possible. And you can leave the frame and also the quality make sure it's set to very high or high depending on the what on your spec of your phone. So you can actually choose the high option right here. So this also will give you the best quality as possible. All you have to do is to click on the green play button to start exporting your video so you can be able to upload them to your best platform and i hope you guys have gained value out of this video if you did don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more so let's watch the final output to let you guys know the best way to support this channel is to head on to our patreon page to pick up one of my no video preset pack link to it in video description to take your video editing to the next level that is a great way to support this channel if you like what you see and you want to see more of this stuff coming out then consider supporting this channel 